record forever. I'm counting on you, iPhone. If this don't record, I'm telling everybody on Facebook, you suck. All right. All right, so now, the first thing, Lord bless this in Jesus' name, but I know it's going to be there because I am excited. I have decided to call this, uh, I forgot what I called it. The Crash Course? No, it is called, Let's Take You to Church. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why uh, I think that's an important because Preachers tell me that all the people that are stuck on what church is, every time you get outside of that and play a jazz score or anything, the first thing they say, no, nah, keep it church. Keep it church. <laughs> so, Because there's a sound. I got you. Yep, there is a sound. Okay. Now, the very first thing is you want to create a church atmosphere. So before you even uh, start playing church stuff, you have to uh, play chords that make them, get them in that, in that vein first. Okay. So it's very, very simple. So you play a diminished chord. So play E flat, G flat, A, and C with your right hand. Well, carry in. We're in C. In the key of C? Yeah. Okay. And I would, everything will be in C. And right. I'm going to tell you how my system works better because you know how I said play E flat and you went, <laughs> you know, you went left and right because you didn't know which E flat it was. But my system, I would have told you e, uh, RB2 and you would have went right to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do it right. What is it. RB? Right, black. <laughs> Just left and right, you know, because remember so we had that shape is, conversation. Yeah, so this is the center. Yeah, that's okay. the that's the uh, that's one RC. Okay. Okay, and then play LWA. <laughs> See, I'm throwing it in there. <laughs> there you go. And then you play E, G, and C. This is your right hand. I'm sorry, and the left hand you just play C. Huh? So in right hand, just play E, G, C. Right, so play the first chord, the diminished one, and then that. And then you can play, uh, so play. No, not yet, not yet. But I'm, That's don't not, put a 7 in. Mm -hmm. Just put A, C. No. Nope. Okay. See, I'm glad we're going through this, because mm -hmm. cause people do that, and then it takes you into not just a churchy atmosphere, but it, it, it sticks you with the Baptist church when you do that. All right. Okay, now, uh, add LW1 to all that. Right, so play octaves, and then you're going to ro roll it, right, and then do the same thing with that. So roll both of uh -huh. and then go to the EGC. Now that's church. That's church. <laughs> right. right. You're doing that, that's church. So that sets it all up, so they're going to either be able to be ready to shout, or they're ready to preach. Okay. So you got you got to do that. Now what I'm going to do is, you really ain't going to take no... No, write down no notes because I don't want to spend all the time going through all this. So I'm going to type it up and then just email it to you. Okay. Okay. So whenever you do that, that's church. Okay? All right. All right. Now, the next thing is uh, whatever you do with that, you can invert it in the right hand so it's any of those. Right. Did I call over here? Uh-huh. It, it don't matter. It don't matter. But no, I'm not inverting. You do that too. Okay. Yep. Whatever will help you do that and keep that going because sometimes you're going to have to do that for... Uh, five minutes and then some churches you got to do it for hours because they like you to stay there and they're okay with you just playing them two chords for hours okay. especially like if it's a uh, if it's a churchy altar call they okay with you staying there forever yep and they don't want you playing nothing different they don't want you getting there and then all of a sudden you start playing you know you know you know they don't want all that because that ain't church you do all that and then you starting to play all that contemporary stuff they don't want all that. They just want church. So right. church is diminished and then back to the one. Okay? To the major one. Okay. Right. Now, uh, I'm going to mention his name because he influenced my life. Daryl Smith. I have no idea. Oh, man. You have to meet Daryl Smith to be is a gospel he musician. Here? He's from here. And he is cold-blooded. And he and he taught me. Older guy? No, he's black. No. Yeah. Is he older? Yeah. he's he's uh, he went, We went to school together, so he's a year older than me, so he's 51. Oh. Now, uh, what he showed me was you take those diminished chords and then and then you play this left hand, okay? So now play C. Uh, I'm sorry, one. So you didn't know which one to play. Uh, and then you can play those together. Boom, and take your left hand down um, uh, chromatically one and a half steps. Dun, 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 dun. Right. As soon as you hit that, the, the note that's in that chord, you got to change your inversion down. Down to right. Keep going. Right. Right. So that's your that's your uh, 
in kind of inversion, advanced inversion of those uh, of that diminished chord. Well, and doing? then when you What's get done, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Just keep going, and then go to C major, any kind of C major, right? So you go, bum, da, 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 or you start up high and go, da, 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 da. right. Right. Just long that you got it, though. That's the whole thing. Right. Okay, so I'm going uh, down the whole octave. All right. Right. So whatever sounds good, you 